So welcome to the reinforcement learning workshop from ACE. And I'm going to kick off. I'm going to talk a little bit about me. About the, and I'm going to talk a little bit about your expectations from the workshop. And then we're going to talk what this workshop is going to be about and which. Munich. Then I did a postdoc for almost three years at the University of Toronto doing like machine learning in bioinformatics and biomedical applications. And I would say I have a total of like roughly 10 years experience in machine learning. I did it in my undergrad and six of them that are in bioinformatics. And after leaving life science, I joined uh, Zero Gravity Labs, which was doing machine learning on marketing and retail data. And after that, I joined BMO, where I do currently do machine learning on financial data and on markets. So we're going to kick off this workshop with a little bit about your expectations. And I hope it's going to work really well. So I want you to talk with your neighbors. And if you noticed, each of you are in a breakout group with some online participants. So I want to talk with your neighbors and with the members on the online chat in the breakout group. So the people who are online, I want you to talk with those people as well. And you're going to talk a little bit about what your goal you want to learn here from this workshop. And if that can sing, I want to come up with like, like one rule like about this workshop, like a behavioral rule. So the rule should be like, oh, nobody gets interrupted. One rule can be, oh, I don't, if there's a question during the presentation, it should be only for clarifications. And all the questions should be set after the uh, presentation is done or like before the breakout session. Or it can be whatever you want to rule. And what's going to happen is when you have decided on the goal and on the rule, I want you to post the goal in the chat for everybody in there, and the rule in the chat for everybody, for you as a group. And we're going to collect all those suggestions and we're going to vote on it. And then we're going to see, okay, what are the things you're interested in? And we're going to decide what are the way we're going to treat each other here in this workshop. So, go on. You, do, you, do you have anyone to discuss with? Do you have anyone to discuss with? Maybe you can. Yeah, maybe ask the person online. So if you're online, please just say something, send a message in the breakout group. And if you are in person here, also don't exclude the persons who are just online. Thank you. So just say, OK, what do you want to learn? I want to learn like a specific reinforcement learning algorithm, or I want to learn like how to uh, apply reinforcement learning to this kind of problem, or I want to learn um, um, I want to learn like what are the current challenges in reinforcement learning. So it's a topic you're interested in. What's your goal? What's your take home? What is the take home you want from this workshop? You want like well done annotated RL code, which you can take to your home and you can play around with, or you don't care about the code. You're interested more in the theory, or you're more interested into the uh, into the applications of it. Hmm? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So reach out to your breakout session. Like I think every table is one group, so you can can talk to your member and reach out to other person and then just say okay i want code then just say we want code <laughs> and i'm going to give you uh, so all of you you have um Eight minutes, so four minutes for the goal and four minutes for the rule. So I'm going to tell you when four minutes are finished.
So then you can turn this off. So I can put this further back in there. Are they good? I think it's good. Yeah, if you if you have your goal, you can post your goal. So every team who has a goal, select decide a goal, you can just post it, and you can move on on deciding the rule. Just in a, in a Slack to everyone. And there's, uh, there's one channel called um, WSRL Everyone. So if your group has decided on either one, just post it there. Yeah, kind of. So if you please reach out to your other members and quickly just decide like a like it can be something very general everyone can agree on What's happening here? Five, mi five minutes have passed, so another five, and then we'll see how far we are. Thank you. 
Are you two s you two good? Are you deciding on a rule? I think it's a good thing to do. Some good people are talking to each other. It's how it is. Okay, so who is who, who still needs more time? The hands up if you need more time. Everybody good? You you people online are also good. So please finish posting what you got. Give you I'll give you a minute, and then we'll move on. Okay. Okay, then, ready? Everybody ready? We're gonna move on. 
So, so this course, we, we're going to, each team, each breakup group can score points. So we're going to have assignments. And depending how well you do on the assignment or if you complete it, you get points. And in the end, the best team, we have like some small goodies for you. So to motivate you to compete here in this part. And what has happened, if you complete our assignment, your team gets three points. And I think for the second session, at the end of the second session, we're going to play some competitive games. And we're going to see who can build the fastest running or fastest, the best uh, RL learner. And as uh, Amir already found it, you're going to do this kind of weird breakout session. There's going to be a course project. And a lot of people asked me about this already. And the way I understood, there's like two levels to the course project. Like the first level, you're going you're gonna to do like some kind of uh, review. You write a review or you write a comparison about a paper or about the service or whatever you feel like. And, uh, and if you want to do something more, more challenging, you can do, say, okay, I want to code the paper. I want to redo a paper. I see this paper. I want to code it. And if you see later in the paper, uh, in the papers, you can select a, a group then up into two groups. Like one is like applied reinforcement learning, and one is like just like methods, like just reinforcement learning methods. So if you want to do some review or some openness, I would recommend you to do like one of the applied papers because it's definitely more difficult to do an applied one and do it from scratch because you're going to face two problems. One is like the machine learning, say if it's vision or uh, sequence generation or uh, image uh, labeling plus the reinforcement learning problem. You're going to have like two machine learning problems at the same time, so it's going to be a bit more difficult. And, but still manageable if, you're, if, you're, if you don't mind the challenge. And if you want to code, but you want something more easier, I would recommend you to select one of the reinforcement learning methods. Like there's uh, asynchronous actors or uh, some generative models for learning. So you can select, there's also going to later post a, a website. It has like a lot of comprehensive collection of all papers. You can select also any of those papers and then just implement the reinforcement learning method. So what's today's agenda? So today, for those who didn't reinforcement learning before, it's going to be a lot of rehearsal. So we're going to talk a lot about the fundamentals from reinforcement learning. We're going to talk about like, how did we get here, right? So we're going to talk, OK, what's a very naive, simple approach to it? And then we're going to say, OK, how did we come to Q-learning, which is a very fundamental uh, algorithm. And the next week, next session, we're going to do deep Q-learning. So the whole day is going to be all about deep Q-learning. So there's one method it's called Rainbow. It combines like eight optimization tricks you can do to reinforcement learning, which is like from dueling deep Q-learning to double deep Q-learning to distributional deep learning and uh, priority bias the replay memory. So we're going to go through all these techniques you used that can make your deep, current, deep Q learning method better. And in the last session, we're going to do policy gradient methods. And this would be like half the session, so like two thirds of a session. And if, depending on the feedback or what people want to do, we can say, OK, what we're going to talk for the rest of the day. So it seems a lot of people are interested in applied reinforcement learning. So we, we can go through some papers and some methods how to apply reinforcement learning to real world problems. Or another good option that what we can do is like I show you how how like how to write your own environment. Say let's say how do you write your own uh, GMAI environment, which you can later plug in into all those existing reinforcement learning pipelines. Or I can show you like Keras RL, like how you can use Keras RL library, which is also very easy. It can give you access to a lot of methods. So. In a nutshell, like you can use all the reinforcement learning methods as they are in the Kara, in the Keras package, but you will not understand all the nuances and the finances about the method, and then it's going to be very hard for you to optimize it.